as I tell students, don't stop with your high school education. You've got to keep going. And, you know, if they want to graduate from Oregon State University, great. If they want to get their training in military, great. Um, maybe it's an apprenticeship or a technical college or a trade school. Um, but don't stop with your high school education. That's not going to open those doors of opportunity that you probably want to see open. Uh, the more education, more more of a skill set you have, um, the more opportunities you're going to have for yourself and your your and your future. You know, they. I never really had anybody before me really to go to college and stuff. So technically, I'd be the first in my family to actually attend college. As soon as I went to college, I was, I did feel a little more pressure because, you know, the fact that it was, it's an opportunity that was given to me. I told myself, you know, I, I have to, this is where I can show my parents that I, you know, it's worth the time. Um, I came from Mexico, actually. And I mean, as far as I know from their education, they, you know, it's just a matter of high school and, that's it. Throughout my whole life, as far as I remember, they would always tell me, you have to go to college. You're going to be the one to go. <laughs> um, you know, with everything changing around us, the economy and stuff, they were like, you know what, we're going to make everything possible to, you know, get you there. There's a workforce transformation happening across the country that uh, it, it uh, it's not like it used to be for for our uh, parents and grandparents uh, that you can just get a, a middle class job or a career out of a high school, even a, maybe even a high school dropout. Um, now you need some kind of post secondary education to be part of the middle class. Believes it of you. So if you have a partner, my mom wants some like she wants us to have a future. Um, she used to take on two jobs in the summer out in the fields. And she doesn't want us to be going through that. She says that if we have an education, we could have a job. We could leave on vacation whenever we felt like it. When it was hot in the summer, we wouldn't have to be having a heat stroke outside, picking out weeds, or if it was too cold, we wouldn't have to be freezing outside working. We've been working on really looking at models that allow students to begin earlier in their high school career and ideally um, in junior high in, in creating ways for students to think about their future in terms of how might finishing high school lead them right into college and how might college in high school take them into a career. Suddenly high school isn't just about you know getting through those academic classes but it's taking advantage of some pretty creative electives that really could be a launching pad into a career after high school. I needed credits, it's college class, and I don't know, it just seemed interesting. I like mechanical stuff, doing stuff with my hands. And um, I feel like school really doesn't offer too many classes that give you career opportunities. And I saw this as one of those kind of classes, figured I'd see if I liked it, and I do so far. I thought it was pretty cool. It was um, definitely interesting, and learning about the different types of welding is pretty cool. And um, yeah, I like it. Yeah, I didn't really think college was gonna be, you get to do stuff. I thought it was just, you listen, take notes, you're done, take a couple tests. But uh, this, you get to do projects, you get graded on that, that's your test pretty much. You have a couple paper tests, but not much. If you do these particular things, at the end the result is X, maybe a certificate, maybe um, easier access to a degree program, things like that. We're doing, uh, gosh, synchronous delivery through technology, we're doing online classes, we're doing in person, we're, you know, we're doing things at the high school, the high schools are coming here, it's just, it's really flexible and very innovative and, and building that uh, structure for every kid, which is really unique. I 
really liked being able to have the opportunity to get college experience while I was still in high school. Um, I've taken some advanced classes here that ended up getting me college credit also. And it's really nice to know that when I'm going to be a freshman in college, I'm already going to have a little bit of class experience under my belt now. And I've already seen the KCC campus, which is really nice. I won't be completely lost when I go. Um, and it's, it's interesting to learn views that you aren't taught in high school. Um, you also get to check a couple of the facts you were taught. Uh, a lot of the facts that are taught, you know, all over, um, that aren't exactly true, but true at the same time. Um, so I can get my CNA license to help me actually figure out if I want to be in the medical field before I spend so much money on trying to get to into the medical field, but so far through the Health Occupations 2 class, I actually enjoy helping the patients and getting the learning experience. I feel like it will help me to, like, especially with my C getting my CNA license, then I can work at the hospital and keep progressing and the actually working in the medical field so I get more experience while I'm going to school so I know what to expect. And we always try and talk to the students about what is your career pathway? Where do you want to end up? And then let's start building backwards what you need to be doing now to better prepare yourself for that, that end result. Whether you want to be a certified welder or a nurse or a doctor or a professor or an engineer or businessman, you know, whatever your career pathway is, let's start building it now and figure out, okay, what do you need to be doing now to prepare yourself for success in that field? And, and giving yourself kind of a little bit of that head start like I talked about earlier. We want all students to have something after high school because if you don't, you're going to be poor. You know, really, you know, speaking statistically, if you don't have something after high school, you're going to be poor. And we don't want that, especially for our, for our, um, for our community. You can see it's like a ripple effect. Uh, when you only have, when you have unemployment or minimum wage jobs, it creates pressures on families. When you, when, you, when you raise the economic base of a community, you have better trained workforce, families get stronger. Uh, so this is another way to really attract good paying companies with middle class salaries. Have a well educated, well trained workforce. And that is really one of our goals too. Uh, but you start at the high school and you ease them into, the, in, into college. Uh, and we want all of them. We want 100% students to have that opportunity to have a career, something after high school. Um, uh, it's too much of a negative if you don't. Uh, there's too much at stake. That's what I tell our students. Nobody can take this away for you, from you. And this is going to help you at some point in time achieve a, a stable uh, job that provides a middle class wage, that provides some options for you and your family, for your future kids. I mean, it's just, it's all tied to economic health and development and well being and the health of a community. It's really all linked. We need to get them on those campuses. They need to understand that they can do this. Many of our, my students, don't believe they deserve to go to college, nor do they have the ability to walk on that campus. Part of it is generational. That becomes the first barrier. If they haven't seen an, an adult in their life go from high school to college, or a transition to anything else, that becomes a barrier for them. Because they think, well, they didn't do it, I can't possibly do it. They have this I can't idea. I need students to believe in themselves. And some of the students that I see, and some of the students that are in traditional school, don't believe in themselves. Because of the barriers that we've talked about, because nobody else in their family did it, and they need to believe in themselves. It's about opportunity. The more education you have, the more opportunities you'll have. It's a win-win. It's a win-win. It's a win for the individual. It's a win for the community. And I think it's a win for our future. Uh, we talk about building the bridge. We talk about the transition. 
it's there. You just have to step on the bridge and walk across it and they will help you.